Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 21 of Old World as Babylonia. And we're basically just racing against Carthage, who are now a good five points ahead of me in terms of victory score. People have posed that they may be getting that from Endgame Science, and that is true. Um, they're probably not too many turns away from winning, so this might be a short video. Still, I'm going to do my best to try and catch up with them. Though at this point, I don't think there is a lot that I can do unless I can get an ambition win, which is looking less and less likely. If I were to try this campaign again on the same difficulty, which let's be honest, I probably will, I think the trick really is not to really think about going to war. Yes, you still need to build an army because you need to be able to defend yourself. And you do need to be aggressive in the early game to try and get as many... Um, city sites as possible but after that it's just spam culture and science really uh, well unfortunately we can't afford to pay for this and i'm not sure that extra 1.5 science would be all that useful uh let's um not too bothered about the foreign opinion let's get the discipline because that is religion opinion as well uh we could make you in Inspiring. Now, are you a, you are a governor of somewhere that would give more culture? Let's make you inspiring. So we do have a worker. Carthage have gained another victory point. So, ouch. Uh, that's the courthouse. There, it's recommending a ministry here. I mean, we are still really struggling in terms of um, civics output. So, yeah, we probably do want to get the ministry. Again, we've got to pay a little bit for the stone, which is annoying. We've got some other workers who are available. Um, I mean, we don't... I don't really want to be building quarries at this stage of the game, but I, I don't have a huge amount of resources to do anything else with. Um, let's take you out with the ranged unit, and then that means our other units can just therefore heal up. So that's the barbarians dealt with for now they might spring up again so can we that's the monastery we could potentially get rid of the, the mine oh you're no stop looking at the wrong thing christian temple uh, we don't have the money i don't have the iron uh could possibly sell a little little bit of wood and then we could go ahead and get the temple in there we go and then we've got the same problem down here now as well actually that is a temple so you've built the temple um yeah got a lot of the, re the religious guys now just sort of standing around with nothing to do Okay, let's pause you up for now. We don't have the resources to build anything else. Uh, do any of these units belong to this city? Well, no, not really. Oh, well, that mace man does, actually. So you can move into that tile. Then you're actually standing on one that's giving you some XP. Not that you need it. You can get a promotion. You can get a promotion just give combat in terms of there being nothing really better to give as we just continue with the exploration around the edge of egypt three cities with nothing to do you've completed an elder monk we are still losing um civics do we need another worker over here you've completed well what else could we get there's a couple of tiles there that we could build on Yeah, so I'm not necessarily sure that getting a worker in here is going to make much of a difference. Is it worth putting anything else in? I mean, the Apprentice Poet, we could do. Okay, what about Kish? That has completed the Fisher. And again, there's quite a few things we could get in here. As we're not building up our army, most things are actually going to require... Do I need another archer up here? It's going to take a long time. How are we doing on the wood cutting? Not bad. It's stone where we've got a problem. So which one of these do we want to go for? The m well, the apprentice monk would be quicker. 
So let's go for that. Let's not try and back ourselves into a corner. Council 3 here is completed. Yeah, we're losing a lot of culture, but I do have... Not culture. Losing a lot of civics, but I do have some banked up. Which is useful. Um... Yeah, the Elder Monk is really good. The Elder Poet is really good. Let's get the, that Elder Poet. We just need culture. There's no other way around this. Uh, we have spare dyes. So do any of our cities need dyes and have um, problems? I mean, lots of our cities have problems. You already have dyes. You do not have dyes. So let's send you dyes. Okay, now your discontent level is going to go down, albeit slowly. Uh, are there any houses we need relationships with? We've got bad relationships with this house. They want salt, but I don't think I've got any. Um, let's try and influence. See if that works. And just on to the next turn, I guess. Yeah, I feel now that Carthage are just running away with this, and I'm not really going to have the opportunity to catch them up, which was a shame because I was so I was so close, but well, I was in front at one point, and then we were sort of neck and neck. And uh, all of my cities have pretty much capped out now in terms of the uh, culture growth. So I'm just not gaining points anymore. Carthage still are. And it could be that they are just at the end of the tech tree now. And they're literally just spamming out um, spamming out endgame tech. So we're not going to take the free stuff. We are just going to try and work towards um, getting to the end of the, the tech tree. So there are none of these that we particularly need. I mean, we could go for guilds. Costs money. Um, the game's recommending mana, so let's take that as an option. This is recommending you build a cathedral over here. Isn't that a... That's a temple. Wants you to build a cathedral. Although, Akkad's already legendary, so that's probably not worthwhile doing. That's a high cost for a little reward. This is suggesting a ministry, and we certainly do need to keep those civics coming in. But at the same time... that's That would be a good quarry down there, actually. I'm going to go and put a, put a quarry in there. Because stone is still an issue. Uh, this is suggesting the baths. That's also suggesting a library. I like the idea of the library. Again, we've got to pay for the stone, but not too much. Um, let's get you guys back to your own territory. You can heal up. Uh, with another ranged unit. Not ranged unit. Another melee unit. That's a melee unit also. Get you on that tile. And I think all the rest of you guys can just stay around there. So we're getting some promotions and stuff. Yeah, let's give you focus. And yeah, let's continue to scout around. I was mostly looking to see if there was any other um, tribal sites that we could nab. But I mean, at this stage of the game, it's probably not going to be worth it. Uh, we are okay on food. Struggling with iron a little bit now, actually. That wants to build a grocer there, which is an insane amount of income. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You were building farms. I mean, it might be worth getting a granary in here. It'll increase, and we can get another farm there. Let's get a granary in there. Yeah, the amount of stone required to build the Hagia Sophia right now is 70,000 golds worth. So there's no way that's happening. Uh, missionary from Hetty. So we can gain some XP and some discontent in Babylon, or we can gain one wisdom and disappointing. Fine, we'll take the wisdom, because it'll help us with our science. We've got another luxury now that we can trade. Uh, the Apprentice Monk has been completed here. So we could get uh, a shopkeeper if you want to go for the money. I think we just go for the Master Monk. Because we are basically just trying to get as much... Um, culture as possible that's that's all we're doing now is we're sprinting for the finish line not too bothered about whether or not we trip we can get scribes now scribes will give us some extra culture but i still think getting the the elders is probably the way to go for now too close to the end of the game to worry too much about the other stuff let's go for the master poet because we've got enough to keep us going for a few years 
Now, again, we've got spare pearls. So let's go through our cities. See if there's any that are in... Right, you don't have pearls. I think all of the others are now positive. Akkad doesn't have pearls. Uh, let's look at some of the ones that don't already have the top level of um, culture. Because if we can reduce the discontent levels, maybe we can get them to grow a little bit faster. You're a long way off. You're a long way off. You're doing reasonably well. And your discontent is high. Let's go ahead and send the pearls to you. Because the ones that are the ones that are only developing, and the ones that are at weak, these are the ones that are likely to grow the fastest. So let's try and give them a little bit of a boost. So Carthage are now just five points away from winning, and I'm a long way away from the end of the tech tree. Can't believe, considering how much I and I was making in the early game, that I'm, I know I'm giving some away as tribute to Hattie for the next 40 years. I guess it's most of my units are just using it as uh, as maintenance. So let's not build too many more units that need iron. Now known as the Keystone. Some conversions. Uh, okay, well, we don't have any options here, so... We've just got to pick that one option there. It's the only thing we can do. Right, let's get workers sorted out. So you have built a library. That wants an academy. Well, we are... Oh, can we even afford that? Only just. You have built courthouse. Got some suggestions including... Oh, well, fish. You know what? We don't have... We... We do have food coming in, but not a huge amount, and that's a building that doesn't require stone. So let's get that built. That's suggesting a granary also just uses wood, and then we can build a farm at the side of it, and these farms will get a bonus as well. So let's go on with that. Okay. In the event, in, uh, it is known that the... in uh, Let's try that again. It is known to the world that Babylonia is homeland to justice. Many years ago, we were the first to establish a code of laws to destroy the wicked and the lawless and protect the weak from the strong. Now, to establish rights, justice, and happiness among the people, we have built a courthouse in Kish, where disputes about right and wrong will be routinely heard. Multiple judges will be needed to hear the cases and decide the fates. How shall we appoint the judges? Um, so, all families can gain 40 opinion of us for 20 years, or we can gain another 570 civics and plus one wisdom. Obviously, that's the option we're going to take right now, isn't it? So, let's do that. You can heal up, and also then just, yeah, everyone just stand around. Stand around and do nothing. We can get another military unit down here. I mean, I think we, most of our military units are standing on tiles that do give them a uh, boost anyway. But let's get you down to there. You can't do it on this turn, but do it on the next one. Yeah, you just... Uh, oh, you stay there for now. I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay, let's keep going around with uh, with this unit. I mean, I'm guessing if there was any islands around close to Egypt and Hattie that they're probably going to have taken them. Um, so this is Egypt down here. Why is that? Oh, it's just because of the family. I was going to say, why is it red? It looks like, almost makes it look like a barbarian. I do find the different family icons for each, um, each civilization just kind of make it a little bit, not difficult to read, but sometimes you look at it and think, oh, what's going on there? And then you realize, oh, it's just, it's just a different family. It's normal. Anyway, Master Monk has been completed at Babylon. I mean, Babylon is going to take another how long? Stupid long. Uh, that's growth culture. 80 years for Babylon to gain another culture level. So there's no real point worrying about these things here in Babylon. We'd be better off getting things here that give us more science. Or more flipping stone. I mean, let's be honest. Look how many stone cutters we can get here in Babylon that we do not have. There was a 4.5 in there somewhere. Yeah, let's get some stone cutters in. And these ones aren't the most expensive. You've completed the poet. Let's get the master poet. This city is at... Uh, mind you, it is at, again, it's at legendary. How long is it going to take for you to pop another culture level? 65 years. The game will have ended by then, so it's kind of a waste of time. So do we want to go for something like a farmer or a miner? We're not getting a lot of iron now. So let's get some iron, you know. 
Okay, let's send the year. Carthage is still on 47 victory points. I don't see that staying like that for long. So let's see how many they managed to grab on this turn. I just think at this point there's not really much I can do. I know it was said that going to war with Rome for what little value in those cities there were wouldn't really help me. But I, as far as I'm aware, every city you capture is worth two victory points. So if I'd have captured Rome's cities, I'd have potentially had six victory points. Um, how many cities do they have, actually? Was it three or was it four? Um, Carthage. Send wood to Carthage. Or gain XP. We just gain the XP. Uh, cities decried the court's silence on religious policy. Tolerance. Or orthodoxy. Um, I mean, I don't really want to be paying out civics per city. So let's go for that one. Rome's scheming against us. Let's infiltrate Rome. I mean, I'm not terribly worried about Rome and what they're up to right now. So I think that's fine. This wants a ministry. I mean, they are expensive, but they will help. We are burning through a lot of um, culture, although we did get another boost to it, which was nice. Okay, so more workers. You have built the courthouse, so you could build a ministry. Well, why would you build a farm? I mean, that would be a great quarry. We still need stone. There's no doubt about it. So let's keep getting some stone in where we can. We've got another worker over here now. Now, this one wants an Odeon, and that's actually not a bad idea because we do need the culture here. This is this is city is going to be three years to pop, so there's a point in that one for us. We've got... Um, this is the same worker, not another worker. Do we have an Odeon here? We can afford it if we just sell a little bit of wood. So let's get the Odeon in there, because this is um, developing culture. And this is suggesting another harbour here. Again, not the best option. Let's get, let's get in another farm. Okay, military units. You guys just stand around and do nothing. I do feel very much now that this is just going to be, okay, let's just see how long it takes for Carthage to beat me because that's what they're going to do. So the worker is completed over here. There isn't much we can get going on over here because we don't have the money for anything. Uh, we could go ahead and get a farmer. Let's go ahead and get this one because it'll give us some more tiles where we can get uh, woodcutters. The master poet is completed here. Let's go for the elder poet. We've got two options. They both give the same yield, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you've completed the master monk. So again, we should probably go for the elder monk. And that... Is it really? Let's end the year. Carthage did gain another point, another victory point on the last turn. So they're now seven points ahead of me, four points away from a win. I don't even know where I can get ele 11 points from. Um, some of my cities are due to rank up in the next couple of years, which means potentially I've got three or four victory points there. And like I said, if I'd have taken Rome cities, because Rome has... What do they have? They have... Oh, oh someone's gained a wisdom. Um, see, I could get the goods boost, but we, we're not going to go for it. Let's just go for hydraulics. You can become affable or intelligent. Let's go for intelligent, because we're trying to get the... Um... Now, you're strong. We could go ahead and get a cathedral there. Stupid expensive. Let's go do it. Anyway, um, yeah, Rome is what I was looking at. So, Rome have got one, two, three. Yeah, only three cities. But, I mean, that would have been worth six points. And then, I mean, they are all legendary. So, I suppose we wouldn't have gained any points from them le uh, 
ranking up, but still. Six points would have been a good little boost considering where we are right now. So you have finished the library. It's suggesting a quarry there, but that's not the greatest of quarry spots. That one would be better, but we don't own that tile yet. Um... I mean, ideally, we want an academy, but we just can't afford to build one right now. I mean, we could go over there and... Can we buy that tile? Um, we want to buy it for the right city. Yeah, buy that tile. And then we can uh, we can build there. We could also buy our way up to that tile. And then you've now finished that, and you're taking damage, because of course you are. Um, let's go and get uh, a lumber mill. Can't even afford the lumber mill because we don't have the iron. That's how bad things have got with, with iron now. Uh, what do we want to do here? Mathematicians from Kish come before the court to present a recent breakthrough. They suspect important work may have many valuable applications. A new court scholar or a boost to science. We're just going to take the boost to science. Um, Duchess is quite upset with... As our Chancellor has quietly suggested that you might conduct an imprison mission to get her out of the way. Why do I want to imprison her? Because she's angry about me. Let's find another way to resolve it. Um, so yeah, we've got to pick another science now. Where do we go here? I hate this version of the Tetri. Where's the... Um... There we go. So, it's suggesting Bodkin Arrow gives us Longbowman. Yeah, we're quite well behind on that. Is there any way? Okay, let's let's actually look at the um, full tree here. Because what we want to be able to do is to get some of these endgame techs. How did we manage to pick up Martial Code without picking up Stirrups? That's weird. So, we haven't got Jewish, jurisprudence. If we want to go for military prestige, we've got to go through cohorts, infantry square, barding, and bodkin arrow. So it's one, two, three, four. For this one, one, two, three. And for this one, one, two, three. We've got scholarship. We can't pick up Windless at the moment. We can pick up um, Latin Sail. So let's try and head towards economic reform. So we're going to go for that one. Um, so that's the one we're now researching. I mean, it's we're probably not going to have the time, but this is just kind of what I'm thinking right now. So let's see what happens. And again, this boat just pottering around in the ocean trying to find something. You're going to stay there. Oh, that's that wasn't the button that I, I, I've i now accidentally pacified City. Um, I was not supposed to do that. I've accidentally hit pacify City because of the of, um, UI lag. So that Oh, can I undo, undo it? Yes, excellent. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so what do we need here? Again, this is... Babylon, so it's not going to really reach a higher level of anything. Um, I mean, that. see, all of these cost civics. That will give us more civics, actually, if we keep repeating council. It costs us money. No, it gives us money. Let's, 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 just, let's just queue up council, and we'll get some money there. You have completed the miner. So, again, you are already on legendary status. So you could go council as well. Let's queue a few councils up. And Kish is um, strong. So they've only just got to strong. The chances of them getting far enough to get anywhere else are low. The master monk is worth more culture. Uh, okay, let's let's go for that. Carthage is still at forty-eight. Now, I'm very loath to end the video because I've got a feeling that if I stop the video now and then start a new video for tomorrow, what's going to happen is Carthage will suddenly gain the points in two turns 
and it'll be a very short video. So even though we're coming up close to the 25 minute mark, I might just carry on with this and let this be the last video of the series. They've just gained another point, so they're not that far off. Uh, I also need to stop putting generals in charge of... There's no real reason to have a general ruling an army unless you're at war, because they just... They cost you um, training and then they die. Uh, Babylonia is in need of a decision regarding its military training. So professional army costs us money. Volunteers. So that's literally if we're at war. I mean, we could we could spend the money. It's not a huge amount. You're going to get that. Um, again, I've got to buy the iron for the for the quarry. Uh, but it's a good spot to be in. This wants a ministry. That wants... I think the library's better. Why it wants me to put the library here, I do not know. I mean, a library would work just as well here. So we're going to go and put the library in. That's cost us some stone. Military unit gets a promotion, so let's give it combat two. You can continue to have a little bit of a scout around in the water. Got another military unit doing nothing there. And I almost very nearly clicked on Pacify City again. So, again, this is a legendary city. It's not going to do much. So maybe we just... Look at the money we've got coming out of there. So we can get like 500 gold extra a turn. So we're just going to queue that up. I know you can just... There's a button you can just click to repeat until uh, ended. But I might, I might want to change my tact before then. Uh, and then this is a Shuna, which is strong... So this one does need to level up in terms of culture. So let's go for the Master Monk. And end the year. There's not really a great deal that I can do between turns now. And I know somebody said I've got a lot of orders spare. So spam out more workers. That's fine. But you still need to have the resources to be able to build the upgrades that the workers build. I'm not really in the position to do that. I probably should probably move this guy onto a tile where he can um, actually get some XP. Uh, let's keep looking around with Yuhu. You're going to be too far away to harvest. And this is Hattie's territory. Let's go through the workers first. This is suggesting a library. Again, it's suggesting... Oh, the palace. Is that worthwhile? I mean, give us some um, civics, but not necessarily needed. Windmills are good for science. Uh, I guess it's saying there because that would be in the right territory. We are going to have to remove some trees, I guess. Okay, let's go and build it there. As for the rest of our workers, that's suggesting a stronghold. I don't think that's needed. Uh, what have you just built? You have just built the... Um... Oh, is that another worker? No, we've got another worker now, haven't we? So we could... Put, so you're working on an Odeon. The market here seems like it's a little bit of a waste. We could get an academy. Uh, we, we can actually afford the stone for that, oddly. No, we can't. Um, let's get a market. Cheap to build, a little bit of extra money. You've done that, so you're going to carry on working on some farms. Although this is a city that really does need the culture, isn't it? And you don't have... And no, that's the Odeon there. The Odeon's being built. You've got two workers. That's fine. You have completed the library. It's suggesting an academy. Can we afford the academy? Yes, we can. You've completed another farm. We could get a harbour. Not the best improvement, but we're working with what we've got. And then that's going to be another farm there. Then we're probably good with farms to the end of the game. So what have we got here? We can get some crabs. Uh, we can get some horses. Um, I mean, we can, we can get the horses... Do we need the crabs? Doesn't really make any difference, does it? Let's just do that one. The new library. Okay. Now then, what do we want here? Uh, De Kurigazlu. I think... I know I've just pronounced that wrong. I've just completely butchered it. They are already legendary. They need... Yeah, like 
two and a half thousand to level up. So, giving them 200 makes no difference. So let's take the science. This is our relative third in line. We'll go for philosophy. This is our chancellor. Let's give her the discipline. Okay. Before we do anything else, I want to go and look at the tech tree. So now we can pick up jurisprudence. So then hopefully we'll get fiscal policy. I mean, I think we're still too far away to make this work, but we'll do what we can. And then we're on to the city. So as the work is completed here, you definitely are in need of culture. Um, we'll have to get the philosopher here, I think. Uh, he doesn't give us any culture straight up, but later on will do. Uh, you've completed the poet. Again, you are already legendary, so it's a you're not going to gain another level. So maybe, yeah, let's just go um, uh, repeat council. And then you've completed the council here. This is in Babylon. We could go for the shopkeeper, though. I mean, that does give us science, so that's worthwhile. Okay, let's send the year. Still carrying on. You watch this video is going to be like another 40 turns now because Carthage aren't going to get those extra few points. I have gained another, what, two. Now Hattie's overtaken me. Carthage literally just three points away from winning. I'm, I'm amazed they haven't won already. I think what I will do is if Carthage don't win in the next few turns, I'm just going to say they've, got, they've gone up to 50 now. If Car Carthage do not uh, win in the next few turns, I think I will actually uh, just call the game and say that I've lost because I'm, I'm very unlikely to catch up. Civics for foods to Hattie. Troops for food. We've got spare training, actually. Yeah, let's just give them some training. So this is... Oh, assassinate the Queen Consort. Could assassinate her. Do not embrace murder against some XP. Uh, I mean, we're not going to get this ambition done. It's not offered us another ambition either, which is very unfortunate. Um, I mean, is there any use getting these dies? I mean, I suppose they do give a little bit of culture, actually. So let's get those. Should have done those a long time ago. Um, let's go and get the Grove. The Grove also gives culture. Um, and we can do, uh, we can do the same for that, actually. So let's get the Grove there. That will give us culture. Now, it still wants you to build things. That's a Christian temple. We don't want to get rid of the market or anything. Farms were kind of okay on. But again, you're already topped out, so it doesn't really matter. You guys would be more useful at cities where there isn't a lot of growth. And unfortunately, I can't get across here with you because I've moved all of my ships. Which is a little bit annoying. Um, so I might just leave you guys as is. I don't think I've got anything that I want you to do. Uh, we do have a worker over here. You are in completely the wrong city. But it is what it is. Um, we could get a farm. I mean, we've got food coming in. We need m more mines now than anything, actually. Uh, let's get you up there. I mean, you're in the wrong city anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and go and build a mine. Uh, you can just stay there. You can... I guess we're going to go around this way. I mean, this is still Hattie's territory anyway. Uh, so you have completed the farmer. Uh, this is one of our newer cities. So yeah, let's get the poet over here. And this city has completed the elder monk. Again, though, you are already capped out. Um, it only, it's only going to take seven years, though, for you to get another point. So I think we keep piling on the culture with you. Although, honestly, I don't think we're going to last that number of years. I, don't, I think the game is going to be over long before then. Um, I mean, in all fairness, we are on year 159 as well. So there's only 40 turns left. And the chances of me being able to dig eight victory points out before Carthage gets another two seem highly unlikely. 
I was off expecting that uh, Carthage might have even won there. Uh, for speed, I'm not really reading all of these right now. She can just become disappointed. I honestly do not care. You have completed the ministry. It is suggesting an academy. Science, good. Um, you have got the... Oh, we can get a windmill. I mean, windmill does give good science, and it also increases adjacency bonuses, but I think we just get another lumber mill for now. Because we can always sell a bit of the lumber. You finished the Odeon. We could get a theatre in. We can afford it. Let's get a theatre in, because we just, we're just trying to boost culture. That's all we care about at the moment. A little bit more exploration, for reasons unknown. Uh, so you still need culture. So we definitely want to keep going with you. Let's get the Elder Monk. You've completed the Elder Poet. So let's get another Master Poet in there. Uh, you are... Yeah, Elder Monk for you. Okay, let's end the year. Come on. Let's, uh, this is, this is going to be the turn where Carthage wins. They're going to get two points here. And that's going to be the end of it. So yeah, again, another game where I felt like I had a really, really strong start. But then something just went wrong. And I'm not sure at what point it was where that happened. But definitely I cocked up somewhere... Yep, they've gained another point there, and let we we're, we're going to go on to the on to the next one just to see what we can do. Now then, I'm going to take Barding. See, Barding is still five years away. Um, make you a Delver. It'll give us a fair bit more stone. Now I'm going to water mill there. That'll give us some more science. And again, I, I appreciate that a big mistake that I made here was. Uh, do we need an amphitheater here? Yeah, we kind of do. Um, one of the big mistakes that I made here is I did not play to Babylon's strengths of science. That that was a really big mistake. Because my, my science output is so, so low here, and it shouldn't be. It should be far higher than that. Um, so, start law. Um, well, we don't really need to store orders... Yeah, we just want to re reduce discontent. That's fine. You can study commerce. Reduce some discontent and gain a load of civics or gain a load of science for the cost of money. I think we take the science boost because th that's kind of what we need right now. Because let's be honest, we're not going to be in this game much longer, I don't think. So again, just having a little bit of a scout. Three more cities. Again, this is a... Uh, already a legendary city. So we can pretty much just keep you on council. We could go ahead and get some more um, pearls. Just to throw out to our other cities. You've completed the Elder Poet. Let's get the, the Philosopher because that is science and culture. Uh, you've completed the Acolyte. Let's get the Master Acolyte. And, yeah, let's end the year and see what happens. I've got a feeling that this is going to be the one now where Carthage gets that last point. So this has been like a double-length video because we're almost up to the 40-minute mark now. Rome are actually losing victory points. Weren't they on 16 at, at one stage? Have Rome lost a city or something? Because you can lose victory points. There we go. There's the defeat. So, as expected, Carthage got that last point. So it is. It is what it is. Um, let's have a look at the old uh, the old graphs. Um, we don't get really get the graphs on here, do we? Uh, I mean, I think I think we grew quite well and quite rapidly. It certainly helped being on an island. Let's um, toggle the fog off. It certainly helped being on an island because I did get to grow quite quickly. Um, but I mean, look at Rome, right? So when I had, when I had three cities, okay. I mean, obviously at high difficulty level, right? The AI starts with more. So 
I settle my third city. By this point, Rome have got three cities. Carthage have got four cities. Hattie, no, five cities. Hattie have got five cities. And Egypt's got four. Now, we all started on our own reasonably big island, with the exception of Rome and Carthage, but they were separated by this tiny little bit of land with a mountain pass, which is what kind of stunted Rome's growth. They had nowhere to go. I managed to grab the entire island and then i got these two islands here that one was the l the late one now that was the last um that was the last point on the map there were no other city locations that i could have got i could have potentially beat hattie up to here but i mean i was still sorting out my own lands by the time they got to there and i think that's one of the things because this particular because this particular game on hide uh, is it it's so important to get, grab the city spots in this, more so than civilization, because you can't just go and get a settler and put a city wherever you want. You've literally got to find and clear out these camps. And because there's only a limited number of them, and you have to fight your way to get most of them, it makes it very, very difficult. And particularly on high difficulty levels, where the AI start with uh, a number... Of, do they start with a number of cities? Yeah, so the AI actually start with multiple cities. I mean, look at that. Carthage actually start on turn one. Carthage already had four cities and Carthage won. You know, how realistically is the player supposed to deal with that? Uh, and then they also start with a better army and the ability to produce a better army, which means it's a lot easier for them to go and clear out other camps and, and claim them. So, yeah, I do think that the game needs a little bit of a difficulty tweak. I feel that... Um, Again, civilization is much the same way, where the the AI is is given crazy advantages and the player is given a handicap, and you start from behind, and the trick is to catch up and overtake. But at least civilization does give you the tools to catch up and overtake, and I don't feel that Old World does, or at least if it does, I haven't worked them out yet. But anyway, that's enough rambling on from me. I will give this another attempt, because I really do want to complete it on this difficulty level. I've come so close... To doing it now twice um i feel that i just need to tweak my approach slightly and maybe get a little bit lucky with start locations and i might be able to pull it off so thanks for bearing with me through this exceptionally long video and this series i hope you've enjoyed it please do consider leaving a like if you've got any comments to uh, give me regarding this particular playthrough please do leave them below and i'll see if i can put them to good use in the next attempt so thanks a lot for watching so until the next video goodbye for now